Welcome to a day in the life of Woody. And today's a big one. So, Colin and I were splitting wood yesterday. Uh, a, a lot of it is, you know, I guess just save money, but get in shape. And I, I felt like doing it. I like being outside, I like working. And um, I've always involved Colin and stuff, even if I don't need him. Maybe I screwed up on this. He hurt himself splitting wood. Colin, um, I, I even got two axes, right? Like here, look. This, we, he was so excited when these came in. You know, an axe for daddy and an axe for Colin. Uh, it was so much joy. It was like, yeah, there's a thing I did right. And um, I mean, I've involved him in stuff even when he's not helpful, like, Fixing the stable, mowing the yard, he is helpful actually. But he's been getting better and, and, and well, he has issues with, uh, uh, you know, learning, but mostly excess, uh, receptive and expressive language. Uh, athletically, he's always been very normal, maybe even kind of athletic. Uh, he does parkour and anyway, this is right where it happened. Um, he was, he was swinging this ax. He either missed the wood or just clipped the side of it and, and hit his own foot. He has an ax wound in his foot. Um, check this out. I haven't even looked at this. Here, I'll, I'll flip the camera around. This is the shoe that Colin was wearing when he got cut. And you see, I, I got him protective footwear. It has this hard toe and stuff, but he, he just went around it, kind of. And um, he's hurt. He, um, the injury, it's an ax wound on his foot, right? It's no joke. It's really bright out. He, uh, it cut three tendons connecting you know if I think most people know this but your muscle connects to a tendon and the tendon connects to a bone and when your muscle contracts that's what they do they all get shorter it pulls the tendon and makes the bone move so um for his three middle toes his big toe and his little toe are fine which I think are the most important but anyway his three middle toes he literally can't move them uh, if he were to contract the muscle, it just wouldn't, the tendon's severed, it's cut. So we have, um, a surgeon came yesterday, but the hospital wasn't able to treat him. Like, a, I guess the nature of his injury is not an emergency. It is to us, but, um, the sun, the, they, like, you want to treat it quickly, but quickly in a case like this is like within 10 days or even seven days might be more ideal. Um, he's having it done in less than 24 hours. And part of it is because he's not taking it very well. He, um, he keeps saying, I can't move my, my toes. I want to be able to walk. He's in a boot, which lets him walk. But like I carried him to the car this morning and um, the doctor's been great. I really like him. Uh, my, yesterday, I, it's so surreal. I was looking into the gash on his foot in a, in, from an ax wound, and he took these uh, like clamp-like tweezer things somewhere in between, and he's pulling on the tendons, making his toes move, like identifying where the tendons are on the toe side. So they weren't all found on the ankle side, I'll say. So he's got to find them and maybe cut back on the top of the foot and sew them back together. I think he'll be okay. Um, I think that you'll never know there was this problem except for the scar on his foot. But it's a big deal for, uh, I mean, Jesus, he has an ax wound on his foot and he lost the ability to work three toes. So we were kind of like on call this morning and Jackie and Colin Went straight to the hospital when the when the doctor said he could do it, and um, I'm in the yard. I'm just gonna clean up like the the stuff we just left it out in the yard yesterday, and um, 
and then we're going to head and join Jackie in the hospital. Now, my experience in these things is usually they say like come and then you wait for a few hours so I should see him before the surgery I, I think so I'm going to get going but uh, yeah let me just pack up my stuff clean up a bit and we'll see you at the hospital or on the way to the hospital or something. Five minutes ahead of us, mm -hmm. and uh, God, <laughs> I was gonna say I feel so responsible. You know, well, obviously I'm responsible. I'm the dad. I feel terrible. I, I, including Colin activities is one of the like central tenets of parenting to him for, for me, and, and he's homeschooled, so he doesn't have like a ton of people and activities and stuff like if I don't interact with them that but it, it's essential that I interact with them all the time every time I can and I included him in splitting wood I was splitting wood at his age earlier than his age without proper footwear because much more irresponsibly <laughs> I never ever considered it my parents fault when I crashed my moped or I don't know. I, I was surfing and I, I stepped on a seashell, but I got actually twice. I needed stitches from that because it was just brutal. Um, never considered my parents at fault for me getting hurt, but I definitely consider myself at fault for Colin getting hurt. What do you say? I don't know. You shouldn't. Thank you. <laughs> um, it's letting you get it all out. <laughs> So, uh, I, I'm really great. The doctor, I don't know if I said this earlier, the doctor had to call 10, like, anesthesiologists, or he said 10 other doctors. I don't, I, I don't know what they are, but uh, to get his surgery team together on a Sunday morning, he had to, to call everyone, and I'm, I'm really appreciative of it, because I, I know I started to say it's, not that time sensitive. I mean, you want to have it done the first week, but it's not like, it, you know, the 18 hours that has gone by is a big deal. But Colin doesn't have the same ability to deal with the anxiety and his inability to move his toes. Like, it, if it happened to you, you might just understand, like, oh, this sucks and it's scary, but my surgery is Wednesday and I'll be what Colin you know every 60 seconds he's like I can't move my toes he's kind of stuck in a loop right now and the sooner we get the surgery the sooner the loop will stop yeah so um, I expect to see him before the surgery I don't I don't it would surprise me to learn that in the 45 minutes that the Jackie got there first they already had him like prepped and into surgery and everything. That's much quicker than my experience with this kind of thing. So, um, yeah, the hospital's like 15 minutes away. And, um, watching you. <laughs> the hospital's like 15 minutes away, so we'll be there soon. Anything to add? It's not your fault. Everything is ultimately my responsibility. You can ultimately say it's anybody's <laughs> responsibility. Like, yeah, blame, thanks Obama. Yeah, thanks Obama. <laughs> thanks the company for making a child size axe. Like, <laughs> what? No. You're fine. Alright, so I'll see you guys at the hospital. I missed Colin. By like minutes. We were on the elevator when they took him back. Oh, okay. Um, he what, was really good. Uh huh. Yeah. What, what? How did it go? Um, they put like a little, you know, hat on him, and they kind of talked to him a little bit, and you know, he has at least four wonderful nurses 
who were like waiting on him hand and foot and praising him constantly and he's doing really well i mean he was right. a little anxious about going to sleep but it's like just like when he had his tonsils out um so he was he was okay no no tears nothing just he got his wants IV. To get his toes. did we see the iv go in no they were going to give him a little gas to kind of make that chill him out a little bit and yeah did he have anything when they took him away no he just got dressed put on a gown that's it so All right. and they said about 45 minutes they said about 45 minutes um wonderful anesthesiologist um wonderful doctor who went above and beyond to make this happen today for him because he was very stressed about his toes not moving so i mean he really has been working on it all night and day to make sure that colin got it in yes so, okay well feel really good about it see you in about 45 minutes yep. okay so the um colin's still out but the or nurse just came and talk to us. She said that he was able to find all three tendons, or six if you call it that because they're cut, and he's currently attaching the third one. So she came out here as if it was already successful, but I think the real message was it's going to be successful. Yeah, that he was almost done, that he was just finishing up and he'll be out in like 20 minutes. So, so that's where we so are. finding him was the big problem. Yeah, on and the so toe that's... side, they're easy to find because that's it's near the cut. But um, here, I'm going to show you my foot. I'll turn it around. Hold on. So you guys saw the boot. It, the cut is like here, I think, like this direction. It might be this way. but um, And these middle three toes are the ones that are damaged. His big toe and his pinky toe are fine. And uh, on this side, we were even doing it yesterday. He took a clamp and he kind of pulled it and activated the toe. But on that side, they weren't all found. Now they can shrivel up real, real deep they're into like the foot. Bands. Yeah, they're springy like a rubber band. So um, he's located on this side. It was easy on this side. He's located all three, which is a good sign. And he's currently using some sort of special suture or stitch to get the last toe. And um, I guess we'll know more soon. But so far, so good. All right, let's get closer. <laughs> So that was the doctor. He was just here. I didn't film him. I kind of wish I had, but he, like, he's not it's, a YouTuber. It's kind of awkward. <laughs> but he's great. And yes, he's amazing. Um, he got all six together, three, you know, cut in two. Mm -hmm. He said that um, it wasn't quite a razor cut, but it was a really good cut. Like I'm, I'm extrapolating from what he told us, but I think if it had been like hypothetically a chainsaw, It'd be harder to connect the two ends. It was a clean cut. It was a clean cut with an axe. If you want to cut your foot with an axe, it's better to be. Yeah, a if you're going cut. to cut your tendons, pick like a razor or an axe, and not a chainsaw or. Or don't do it at all. That there's, bumpy desk. There's that. So, um, he's in recovery room right now. Normally, you can't be in the recovery room. There's like federal regulations around privacy, but it's Sunday, and he's the only one there. So Hopefully. we're hoping that we can get back there and see him before he wakes up and just have a familiar face next to him through the whole process yeah. but uh but he's, that, i think he's gonna do fine we just have to make sure he doesn't move his toes yeah that's a thing he, he like the way the doctor said it um he's like you know if it was you i'd say don't move your toes but with colin the first thing he's going to do is move his toes so we'll try to discourage it and yeah. uh and let them heal so i think we could limit it to as much as possible. Yeah, we can keep him out of parkour and stuff like that until well, he's better. Well, I think he'll eventually get that he has to keep it. Like, he needs to be restful. Yes. Okay. Well, good news. Um, maybe after this cut, we'll be looking at Colin. Yes. Hello. How are you feeling? Good. Okay, good. Yeah. It fixed your foot. Do you remember it? No. No? No. Are you okay? No, I'm fine. Mm. I'm going to let you rest. Anyway, here's Colin. They, uh, they did it. They fixed his foot. Now we just have to rest it and let it get better. Yeah. Can you do that? Yeah. All right. 
All right, it's almost 12.30, it's like 12.15, we're coming on lunchtime. And if you look carefully, you can see the man himself with the orange sleeves there being wheeled out. So uh, I'm super relieved that they said everything went well. Now he needs to heal well, but let me get out of the car because I'm gonna be carrying him and lifting him into this. So here he is, he's gonna be okay, we think. All right, so Colin's in the car. Jackie's driving him home. Uh, Hope and I are headed back to the other car. She offered to keep me company. Yeah. How you feeling? I'm feeling immense dread with the amount of homework that I have to do when I get home. <laughs> I've only got one thing on my mind. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm relieved. There was some question. <laughs> <It's fine. laughs> there was a question, okay. Before this morning, he hadn't found the tendons on the side towards the ankle. And uh, they've got them all sewn back together. And I think I'm repeating myself at this point. Toes are cool. Toes are good. We found out we should not be nurses. <laughs> Colin threw up in the recovery room. And Jackie was like, you know, putting cold compresses on his forehead. And Hope and I were try not to throw up ourselves. I'm really good with blood. I'm super good. Yesterday the surgeon and I were pulling on at the toe tendons, making them move and stuff, and it, it was fascinating and not a problem. I'm terrible with throw up. I'm just... I'm more of a hang out with me while you're like all hopped up from drugs and I'll get my phone out and take some cool video. <laughs> uh, so, um... Anyway. I'll write a speech about it later. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we'll drive home soon. So well, here's the man. Yeah. What you doing? Watching Magic School Bus and eating some chips. Watching Magic School Bus what? And eating some chips. So he's got his bags next to him in case he gets sick. Yeah. He's got his foot elevated. It's He's yeah. healing now. There's a yeah. certain kind of comfort I have yep. knowing that he's home and yep. I'm glad that I don't know. It's downhill from here. Every day he'll get better than the day before. Yep. Yep. All right. So I guess this will be the end of the vlog. We'll wrap it up here and uh, let you guys know how things are going. Um. We're home, that felt good. Uh, it's later at night, I don't know what time it is, maybe 8 p.m. And uh, Collins, he's on some, he has three things, anti-nausea, pain meds, and antibiotics. How do you feel, Colin? Good. Good? You gonna move your toes? Yeah. Are you gonna move your toes? No. No. Uh, I don't know. I, he's actually been really good. He's talking about not moving his toes. They have him in a boot that lets him walk around and I'll get you a shot of that fancy footwear. Move over Jordans. Um, and he's using that to get around. I still kind of hold his hands. Maybe I'm just nervous. Maybe maybe it's smart because he's on painkillers and it can make him dizzy and stuff. But uh, the surgery was successful and it looks like everything's going to be okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are you happy you can move your toes again? Yeah. Yeah. But we're going to let him rest. Yep. Yeah, because the tendons are sutured, stitched together, and that's a weaker bond than a healthy tendon. So he needs to just sort of let his body heal. He's 12 though, so he's almost 13, but he's 12 right now, and he should heal really quickly. And right now, you're looking at a boy a little bit drugged up <laughs> on some pain meds, post-surgery, but um, I, uh, I feel like we're on the road to recovery, and that makes me feel better. So, um, day by day. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Can you come and get my iPad? You want your iPad? Yeah. Okay.